My name is Caleb Wood, and I'm going to be showing you how to care for a garter snake. See my arm right there? Okay, the first thing you need to do um, is buy a terrarium. I am using a five gallon, and I have this little slide top that slides in. And what I like about these tops, um, they slide in and they lock in too, like that. So it's impossible for the snake to break out. That's what I do. And another thing is the size of the cage. My snake right here is growing about mm, two feet. And when they're like that big, you use a like five to ten gallon. And once they're about three feet, you use a fifteen to a twenty gallon. And they ha their habitat is like grasslands and like fields and stuff. So you would use like leaves, sticks, rocks, and the also, another thing is heating. What I use for his bedding, I'll get it out. It's called aspen bedding. A good thing about it is that it's easy for them to dig through, and when they poop, it dries up their poop and it keeps them from not being slimy. That's a good thing. It's not not toxic or anything. Good good bedding. You probably raise it up to like two inches. And another thing is heating. You would put you were well you another thing is you really don't need a heat lamp for a garter snake that don't require way too much heat. You would use a, just a heat lamp to keep some warm warmer. Now on the cold side you put this away from the heat lamp and put this above a rock like that where it catches the heat and the snake can coil up and get warm. And the cold side should be around 60 degrees and the hot side should be around 65 to 80 degrees. That's the perfect temperature. And another good thing is to use moss and put it around your um, water bowl and it um, makes the air in its cage really good and perfect for a little reptile or an animal. So that's what I do. I'm going to go ahead and set up his cage. You would, see, I'm going to put a little hole right here. Stick the bowl in there. Now remember, when you use water, you can make it cold or something. You don't use tap water. It can kill the snake. It has chlorine in it. You use filtered water or you could go get water from a creek or a pond or something like that. So that's what I do. And I'm going to go ahead and put this little stone there. And so I'm going to put the heat right above that. Put sticks in there. I like to climb. Make a little fort or something. These are sticks I find in the backyard. But you can find better ones at a pet store or Walmart. Made for habitats. They're very good to use for a snake, especially for a python. And leaves, vines, that's what I use. That's a good thing for a snake. He would, they, uh, any snake would love that. So that's how I set up his cage. And another thing, when their eyes get, if their eyes get white or blurry, don't panic, it's, that's okay. It means they're gonna shed. So when they shed, I usually get my spray bottle and sprinkle around the cage three times a day when they're ready to shed. And you need a rock or something for them to rub on so they can shed their skin in one piece. So that's one thing. The next thing is feeding. Garter snakes, you usually don't feed them rats or mice. Or usually other snakes to eat. You feed them frogs, amphibians, and fish, and worms. At this size, you would feed them frog, I mean, worms and fish, and if they eat that, it's okay to feed them one fish or one worm, they'd be okay for three days. Once they're bigger, you can start feeding bigger things like night crawlers and frogs, and they'd be okay for a week. And Do you want to put them in there? Yeah, sure. And another thing is, I'm going to show you how to handle your garter snake. Now remember, these snakes are active at, in the day. So they're going to be fast and try to get away from you at first, but once you've got them, it should be fine. Be careful that you don't squeeze them or hurt them. Now when you hold these, you got to be careful because they might get off your hand because they're fast. 
Make them feel safe. Once they're turning at you, it doesn't mean they're gonna bite. Just that want to smell you and know what's going on. Be gentle with them, don't squeeze. Yeah, that's basically it. So I'll put them in and put them in there. Don't crush them. Okay, slide. And that's basically a garter snake Ouch. Hey, little fella. He's a male and his name is Leaf. He's a good snake.